Alright folks, welcome back again. I know in that last video uh, it's still not syncing up very well, but uh, again, I'm going to keep trying out with it. I appreciate your patience in uh, going through with this, and hopefully my future Let's Plays will be a lot better once I can get all of this work. And I adjusted a couple settings. We'll see what else we can get. Let's try over here to kick the wall. Come on now. Kick! That didn't work. Maybe like right in here? Die wall! There it is! Alright. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six numbers here. Let's save it here. And I said I'd be doing this. I got six numbers here. We got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is probably it. One, five, four, four, nine, two. One, five, four, four, nine, two. Dun dun dun! Some sort of card. And a tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. I will bet you it is, Ben. Corley's desk. Anything here? Furniture movie? No. 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 Double click trick! <laughs> Alright. And he's still got a bunch of those bunnies. Is this the card? Cool. Looks like the meeting started. It was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. Yes. Offends us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected, Malcolm Corley's dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Of course you shall. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. For the faint of heart, look away! Oh my god. Minivan. Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. Now I know you can screw with some of this stuff. That. No. That's, uh... Up. See, here's what I don't get. In an era of floating cars and, you know, it's super technology, so to speak, they're still using a projector. <laughs> Alright, so that's not where we're going yet. Man, that Rip Burger can yap. Where does he get this crap? Hey, who are you? How long have you been there? Oh, security! Help! Yeah. Security! I love Ben's run. What took you so long? He ran down the hallway. Moving. Alright, so going there is not going to work. What about in it's here? Locked. So it is in here. What just... Let's 
See, I thought it was... What did I have to do here? Do I have to run out quick? See, I thought there was a way to completely fry it. It's locked! Why is it locked? How about a hint, Lucas? Come on. Yeah, yes. Back to the presentation. There is a way to overload the system and explode it. Let's see here. You can't go in that door. There's got to be something in here. What am I missing in here? Alright, that didn't help. Nope, stop it. What's through this door? It's locked. Of course it's locked. There's no key card? Can I kick it? Hey, stop it. It's locked. Can I try bashing it? It's meant for nuts. Lovely. How about chaining it? I'm saving that chain for my friends on the old mine road. No. Oh, though, let me try... Might be it. Maybe I gotta adjust, adjust the lamp. I know I have to burn the film. Is this how it's done? I'm yeah, feeling really yes. stupid. Now then. I know there's a way to burn this thing out, and I feel like I've gone through every combination. That's the lamp lowest. Well, it's... There's a way to burn it out. And I've about had it with you. you. Alright guys, I'm going to cut off here. Sorry. Let's see how the uh, quality is here. I'm, I'm feeling good about this. <laughs> so, uh, until next time everyone, thank you again for watching and hope you tune in. Come here.